Um, one, I think the mountain presence is um, greatly improved. His um, fastball command is noticeably better. And his conviction in throwing his secondary pitches, I mean, early in the year, he would throw it. And, but now, he's not afraid to throw his breaking ball 3-2. He's not afraid to throw it if he fall behind 2-0. and And I just think it makes his fastball that much better. Um, I think those that there, that's the big hit that when we were in this here funk that we were in, that's the big hit that had been eluding us. And Maddie did a tremendous job of getting the fastball up and putting a good swing on it. And um, I actually, when you look at that at bat, I think that at bat was completely set up by Jose Altuve doing what he did on the base path, still in second base, then still in third base, making it first and third with two speed guys on the corners. That um, that probably bought Dominguez another fastball, and he didn't miss it. He put a good swing on it. Oh, nice to see the pitching and the bats come together at the same time. It's you know, this is as we went through this hit funk in which we've been going through, and today again it's just one game, but it's good for these guys to kind of you know put it all together. And as we went through our stretch where we played really really good baseball. The same group that's in that room went through the same stretch where we hadn't played too well. And it's good to see these guys bounce back and swing the bat and pitch and play the game and um, come out on top. Co-star seems to be so much more efficient now. Is command the biggest reason for this, or what do you think? Well, one, I think it has a lot to do with command. I think when you look at his stuff, a lot, a lot of the times you would think that he's a strikeout pitcher and he's, his strikeout total should be much higher. I think, again, there's a maturation that ta that's taking place of how can I get this guy out instead of how can I strike this guy out. And I think that that maturation is helping him command his pitches that much better and realizing from the scouting report and the attention to detail and just making quality pitches. Is the best example of that the seventh inning when he had the runners in first and second, nobody else? I tell you, that, that seventh inning there, again, you're talking about maturity. Um, last year in that situation, we may not, one, we may not have gotten the result of him finishing that inning, or there may have been some type of desire to have someone else finish that inning, but at no moment did I, did I think that he wasn't going to finish it. And that's a credit to the maturation that's taken place in, in his development and his, his ability to continue to make pitches even once the inning became, you know, stressful. I, you know, I was glad we was able to get him in the game. Um, you know, obviously, if Tony, if he goes one, two, three there, then Ferris probably would just finish up and throw a bullpen. But having him back is definitely, um, it's good. I think he's going to help us. Having a, another guy down in that bullpen that has closer experience, that can pitch high leverage innings, will really be good for our bullpen. The first at bat was probably the most impressive one. Driving the ball left on left, off the wall the other way. And, you know, they've been they've been throwing him away, 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 away. And for for him to be able to make that type of adjustment in game, and then the second at bat, the very first pitch he sees on the end of third, he turns and hits it off the right field wall. That's um that's impressive.